So it is an absolutely beautiful sunny day today, which I think is the perfect day to be getting my solar powered siphoning system ready for getting pond water to pasture. So we have fixed water spots, um, whether it be like a hose or just direct access to the pond for pretty much all of our pastures except for one, and maybe I'd say one and a half. So um, I'm gonna be setting up my paddocks in such a way that at certain points, they're not gonna have direct access to the pond. Um, so I need to be able to get the pond water down and get it into their trough without too much trouble on a daily basis. And I found a few unique tools. Also wanna give a shout out to Mac Farms. I was thinking through this system and how I was actually gonna get it going. And then I saw sort of this little mock-up that he did for his winter watering system. And it kind of steered me in the direction of a few tools that I'm really excited to get going and see if they work. So, let's get to it. And I gotta put out a little bit of a disclaimer. The tools that I'm using are not very good quality. They're from Harbor Freight, which is kind of characteristically not super quality. But what my philosophy is in this whole thing is that when I'm doing something for the first time, I just kind of mock it up. If it ends up being a system that works out fantastically, it's totally worth me doubling back for the high quality, maybe double or triple the price instruments to last me for years to come, but if it ends up being kind of a flop of an idea or something we only utilize for three months before we find something better, then I'm not out a whole bunch of money. So in a lot of things that I do, especially for the first time, that's kind of the rule I follow. I will mock it up as inexpensively as possible the first time, and then once I realize it's sustainable, this is going to be a system that's going to last us for a while. I'll double back and I'll invest in something that I know is going to last me three to five years. But only after I know that system's going to be in place for three to five years. So opening this pump, there is obviously the main pump body, um, which you need to do a couple of things to this first. So I'm going to walk through that process. I didn't initially understand what this was but this actually goes it actually in my case go into the pond it's uh, a filter so your intake hose this threaded end goes into this little slot here and then it'll go into the pond or whatever your intake area is and keep it from getting um, debris gonna do some stuff to this. You've got to pour some oil inside of that little hole right here that has a sticker over it. To, and then you've got to fill it with water and we'll just walk through it step.
this is the moment of truth says that it should start pumping in 30 seconds if it works. <gasps> so there you go. Solar powered siphon system for taking pond water to pasture. I've got a uh, little $11 float on here for the tub but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wash it until it's full I'm not gonna leave it running down there in fact I'm gonna pick up all of the supplies from the brink of the pond and uh, put them in a little watertight container so that they don't get rained on and stuff um, but I'm gonna probably store it here by the water source like that water that that container um, so that I can just have it to refill and hook up and refill whenever I need to I can't even say that there's been a moment in time that I felt more excited and happy than this. I've got pond water going to my pastures. Um, the thing about sheep is they drink like the whole flock. Just depends on it if it's really hot, but the whole flock only drinks about 10 gallons, 8 to 10 gallons of water a day. The steers, which is just three of them versus 30 sheep, the steers drink like 20 or 30 gallons a day, more on a hot day. So anyways, all that to say, I probably only need to fill this 40 gallon tub up once a day and it should be totally fine. So not gonna worry about it at all. I think I can call it a day.